Yeah. Hey, YouTube, we have Aiden. Hello. What'd you do today? I uh, won the PS5 case cool. running. Good job, congratulations. I appreciate it. So I'm gonna say it now, so I wish to say it. Like and subscribe. And what are your shout outs? I'm gonna ask now. Uh, well, I bought the deck off him. Um, <laughs> Andrew for some last minute stuff, and Frankie as well. And then Epic Cards and Games as always. Epic Cards and Games, congratulations on your placement today. Appreciate Very it. happy for you. Uh, what did you play? Uh, cashier. Cashier. Free cash. How many cards in the main deck? 41. All right, let's go uh, get started. I know. <laughs> uh, so three Fender, three Unicorn, Three Rise Heart Ogre Scareclaw Tear Cash. Um, I I play a pretty heavy engine build. I just enjoy being able to play the game, even in like the mediocre hands where it's like Rise Heart Birth or like Guy Plus Theosis. Like if, even if you get hand traps, like you have a better chance of being able to play through the game the more engine you draw. And I don't like non-engine that much this format. It's like necessary but not too strong. So I think my engine gets strong enough to push through a lot of decks. But like especially the good stuff like Fender that just push forwards. To go along with that. Uh, all the good engine spells, three birth, as always, I'm talking about like drawing engine, like drawing birth is broken, it's very strong card. Uh, then two traps. Uh, I didn't play prep at Vegas, but I think with all the labyrinth rising in popularity and trap decks as well, I think it's really important to play. And then uh, some more consistency cards. Um, so this is probably not too common at the moment. Um, it just is another way to interact with skill drain. Um, I was pretty concerned with like losing the labyrinth and trap tricks at locals. So whenever the trap tricks make their board of like replication or whatever, and you get floodgated, you can eventually like either pop it or you can pop a set and try All to right, keep they're playing. giving you a defense monster basically. Like, huh? put more, they're giving you like a defense monster yeah, 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 to basically exactly. put more defense. And monster. then against sprite, like uh, in the finals, you didn't do it too much, but I've seen the board just be like red carrot, like negate, 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 whatever. So it's just a bunch of guys. It's just a nice going second card, and then it also searches an extender and it gives you a fifth field spell, which I think is all like pretty beneficial. And then uh, non-engine, we played Ash, six books, and three twins. Um, I don't see back row hate as too common right now, but... Well, you made the twins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I just see so much trap tricks and a labyrinth, like I've been saying. Um, I think it's just not a bad to draw. Um, this could be cosmic because this card in your card could be an issue, but when you're playing against a trap tricks, you really need to hit two. Like, if you're playing against trap tricks and they go, like, floodgate, whatever, like, if you're only hitting one, you're losing that game. And uh, I'm playing twin over something like Lightning Storm on the main because you can hit standby phase and play around Arachnid Tampa. Um, and against Labyrinth, like you want to always be hitting more than one. There's not yeah. too many decks right now that you hit one hit one with except for Runic, and there haven't been too many locally. Um, for a white system, that may change, but I think, at least for this event, it was definitely correct to play to win. Um, extra deck, three Shang, three Rice Hearts. Um, the third one came up at least once or twice today in the mirror. Like you make one turn one, they try and snipe the second one, it's, you have the third one, obviously. Um, three Shang, I think that could go down to two, but if you like make two and get nibbed, uh, missing the third could come up, but I don't think it's like too necessary. Uh, two Diablosis, this definitely came up just like being able to snipe out of extra deck I think is really nice because um, I think the rank 7 pool is really weak so being able to like do something that like at least like cuts off follow-up which I think which what this deck does you try and grind you like make them not be able to make good plays and then just eventually grind them out and then Devil's Zeus is always uh, pretty mandatory this format and then a uh, good utility rank 7s um, this plays around skill drain because you can trigger it off itself against Slapper yeah. um, this is a really strong card uh, just be able to pop two cards obviously um, and also, like, it's a big body that you can attack with, pop me in phase two, and then lay me Zeus. And then big eye, uh, I was playing two of this for a bit. I think it's in, kind of important, but, like, not as important as, like, I fought in the past. Um, I think your bodies are just, like, threatening, and also people are playing barriers, so, like, this doesn't really come up as much as I fought. And then the two non XYZs are Donners, the Ibli out, and then Baron. Um, originally, I was playing Bell, so this came up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, when you only play one level three, it hasn't come up. There was one game, like, not today, but in the past, it's, like, one, it could only have been Baron alone. But overall, I think this could just be like anything else. But like the prosperity targets, I've never really been fond of because when you banish them, like you're not busting off them, so you're like you have to get it out. And by then, I, I just prefer to have other cards. Um, so three shifter. Um, I haven't seen this card as much lately either, but I think this is really strong against like Dark World, Drytron. Um, good against Trap Tricks as well. Cuts off all their follow up. I think this card's really strong. Um, yeah, I think. Not much to say, but you can't manage it obviously just because of what's going around. Uh, more, some mirror stuff. We got two paying kaiju's. Um, I was playing the third one over this, but this I just realized that this is so much better because against like trap tricks, it trades two for one. Um, against labyrinth, it out skill drain. Like I think it's just like such a beneficial card. Uh, and then to go along with that, more back row hate. Uh, you were just not letting. No. Back row no. Well, the issue is when you're playing all these book of moons, like they're trash against like labyrinth, <laughs> right? So you have to you have to have like a fair amount of cards that go in and out. And that's part of the issue with the deck is you don't really have anything for going first. One thing I have right now is barrier. So I think going second post side against like a lot of the combo decks like Sword Soul or whatever, I think is like pretty reasonable just because your deck doesn't set up too strong of boards. If they like draw like the correct combo of cards, you just lose. Mm -hmm. So if you go second and you draw six cards and most of your deck is going second cards anyways, like you just benefit off that. And to go along with that, three more econ. Uh, three econ. Plays around Ibli, um, that's the gimmick puppet, but it's also just amazing in the mirror. 
Um, if you tell them to go first to Econ, like they can't really arise or, or Fender without just like giving you a guy and then like you use them. So, so I think this, it's, this card's been incredible. Yeah, yeah, seen... yeah. I think I was maining it for a while, but there was so much trap tricks that like this doesn't fix that matchup. Because if you take Reflesia, you can't crash over Sarah and like make Zeus. So like you still just lose either way. Um, that happened a couple of times. And I'm like, okay, this has to go to the side. But I'm not cutting the card. Um, originally it was dark. <laughs> originally it was dark pool, but I just realized Econ is so much better overall. All right. Well, thank you, Aaron, for the deck profile. Congratulations once again on your winning today. Appreciate you. What are you gonna do with it? Uh, probably sell it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, any last shoutouts before we go? Uh, no. Thanks again, both for the deck. Uh, yeah. Peace. All right. Well, thank you. Have a good night.